What's up YouTube? This is JC Audits here, speaking to you from Innovation Park in Liverpool. Um, so Innovation Park is is like basically uh, a place for, I don't actually know what it's for. So all I know is about one person <clears throat> and uh, he happens to be based here. He is a graduate. Oh dear, this is a private, ah oh, shit, oh well, okay, never mind, let's go out. Um, yeah, so basically, in Innovation Park is a place where, I don't know, I still don't know what Innovation Park is about, it's a nice little garden there. Listen, I'm going to come back to you in a bit, because I don't want to... Uh, park here when I'm not allowed to so I'll catch you in a bit I know normally I'll keep it rolling but I'm not see you later uh, what's up um, I'm back I've come out of the car park and uh, we are Liverpool Innovation Park is um, it's kind of down that way right? this is what the plan is for this for this thing here um, capital and centric have been slowed down by uh, Liverpool City Council inadequacies, believe it or not. Um, diggers are coming in this uh, shortly. I think it was... Um, I mean, I have to check my, uh, my Liverpool innovation video uh, that I did earlier. I think I did an update on it, but um, I'm not here to do the innovation park. I've done it. Um, I've flown the drone over it. Um, so I'm not here to do the Little Woods building. Um, I've just sort of come back around here because um, I wanted to talk about uh, the innovation, uh, what do you want to call it? Innovation Park, Liverpool Innovation Park. Because uh, in particular, I want to talk about certain people that are there. Let's, let's talk about one person that is currently based there. So, um, as you well know, uh, there's been a, a landing on the moon, hasn't there? Uh, on the dark side of the moon. And there's been a bit of media interest regarding this because the per people have brown skins. Okay, so brown skins uh, are the people we don't want to let across the channel. Um, brown skins are the people that, you know, we've done away with the centralized uh, way of dealing with immigrants okay so they've got no cho choice but just cross over and bro boats and obviously you know why don't these guys stay and fight they've got brown skins they should stay and fight anyone with white skins yeah come to this country come to this country and uh especially if you're from ukraine because yeah you're white and you're it's an oppressive regime but if you've got brown skin yeah it doesn't matter if you, it's an oppressive regime or not we don't want you here okay it's just a fact it's just it's just a known thing on social media it's just a it's just a knee-jerk reaction which is fine i can deal with that i'm not here to talk about that i'm here to talk more on the brown skins of these people that have landed in, uh, a rocket I would say, I'm going to talk really loosely here. They've landed a motherfucking rocket on the dark side of the motherfucking moon. That's what these cunts have gone and done. All right? Do you, do you get what I'm saying here? Right? These fucking brown cunts, and I say that in the nicest possible way, have landed a fucking rocket. Let me make that absolutely clear. On the dark side of the moon, um cunts from South India okay so these these fuckers are really dark all right because because of all the sun there if you go to Kerala uh, you can see they're not the Kashmiri sort of white Indians there they're dark they're dark Indians okay and these fuckers have gone and landed a, um, a rocket on the dark side of the moon something that the Russians failed to do apparently you can check up on these facts get back to me if you think I'm chatting shit Okay, um, and they are 
social media facts, okay, they, they deserve you know, to be, to be fact-checked, but I don't have time for that. Innovation Boulevard, that's where we are. Uh, that's where I was filming earlier. So that glass front of building down there, uh, which I speedily left when I realised um, I shouldn't be parking there. Well, um, there's a guy in there, working in there on his thesis, right? He uh, was telling me about this, and he's basically uh, not involved in the project as such. However, um, he is a mechanical engineer. He mastered, he's already majored in energy. And his thesis, which he's working on, and there are lots of students uh, uh, down there actually working, uh, studying and stuff. His thesis is on energy production um, and is entitled something like solar panel, sorry, solar power generation in space. So transmitting, hello Tesla, transmitting the results of energy uh, via uh, the electromagnetic spectrum, whether that's radio uh, waves in the form of microwaves, uh, back to a receiver where the energy can then be converted um, into electricity. So clean energy from space. So that's, that's the story here. Um, meanwhile, this is still lying. Uh, oh look. Private land, do not enter. Blow up. It's a clear sign here. And that's a sign for auditors not to enter. That's why I'm turning around. Uh, well done, uh, Innovation Park, for clearly marking that out. Um, yeah, so uh, Capital Centric, they're the, they're the guys that, uh, that are developing here, uh, supposedly. Um, obviously, as I say, held back by red, Liverpool Red Tape. Let me make that absolutely clear. Um, I, I've met with, uh, with someone from Capital Centric and uh, we talked about this is, is very much uh, part and parcel of this this project here but we're not talking about that we're not talking about the little woodies the ladies that used to work there we're talking about this building here and in particular um, the uh, the moon the moon landing which was done recently uh, the moon rover has uh, is roving around uh, possibly taking uh, soil samples I know it's confirmed that um, uh, as one of my relatives uh, asked me, um, you know, is there water on the moon? Well, in fact, there is water uh, in some form on the moon, and uh, yeah, the South Indians didn't discover it. However, um, as I understand it, they might get further physical evidence of the fact that there is water on the moon. Um, so yeah, why did they land on the dark side of the moon? I don't know. I can't. I can't ask. Uh, I can't answer that question, but. You know, how, how were they successful when the Russians weren't? Well, they had a great team together. They obviously did this in simulation first. They, uh, you know, they used computer programmers to see if it was possible. Then they did a cost-benefit analysis. And they started to put this into practice then into, in, in mock-ups. I don't know whether that's actual models, uh, scale models or whatever. But they, they obviously did it. Um, it's, it's not a manned mission. I'll just make that absolutely clear. What a disgusting little car that is. Sorry, I shouldn't say that. Um, uh, yeah, and... Um, yeah, so they landed on, uh, on the moon, as in they, the, the, the robot, landed on the moon. It's still beaming back pictures from the moon. And um, uh, it is on the dark side, so there is... Uh, it's colder, it's higher pressure, uh, it's more hostile. In that, in that sense, it's, it's pitch black in, in a way. Uh, so they had to use heat signatures to land, which is of course uh, quite, it's, it's gonna be tenuous, more tenuous because um, there's less heat up there. So it is pitch black kind of thing. Uh, ducks over the moon, they were successful. Let's not underrate that. It wasn't Elon Musk landing on the motherfucking moon who happens to be white. Yeah, brilliant. But these were ducks, highly dark skinned, suspiciously dark-skinned people. I'm not going to refer to them as cunts anymore. Uh, and that was all in jest, by the way. And if you want to flag me for that, fair enough, go ahead. Flag me, take me down. Ugh. But yeah, so... Um, Liverpool Innovation Park. That 
it's just to say basically that um, that there is innovation in Liverpool. There's real knowledge. Uh, knowledge is key. Uh, this guy, one of these you know guys, is obviously come to Liverpool for whatever reason. He could have gone to London, King's College, you name it. He's come to Liverpool, um, and uh, it just goes to show it's not all uh, uh, fun and games in Liverpool. There's serious work being done here. Serious people, um, academics, up and down um, Liverpool. Whether it, it doesn't have to be um, in the knowledge quarter, out here, um, you know, away from knowledge quarter, pretty much on Edge Lane, uh, around Edge Lane. Uh, unless I'm much, much mistaken, there is some activity. There is uh, there's learning. There's knowledge, and um, yeah. So you have it here. I'm going to get Jimmy up over uh, Liverpool Innovations uh, Park if it's appropriate, and uh, we will, of course, switch to the drone footage or um, or not, as the case may be. This is JC. Over and out.